Hi, me and Cookie have some awesome tips and tricks for you. Let's watch. Often, in all sorts of jobs, you need to draw a big circle. And if you draw by hand, you will get something like this. Here we have an ordinary screwdriver and tape measure. We need to set a diameter of a circle in the tape measure and add about a centimeter to even the thickness of the screwdriver and the pencil. Then we place the screwdriver in the center of our circle and then holding the pencil against the body of the tape measure and draw circle we want. Of course not perfect but without any special tools it's just fine, right? Many people like to set a fire in this kind of fragment sticks and make aromatic smoke. Looks how beautiful it turned out in our case. Now, often you don't want to burn the whole stick but you won't remember to put it on time as well. There is simple metal paper clip you can use in the middle of the stick or another place. Then, when it should stop smoking and the smoke near the paper clip won't did in fade. If you go to vacation, your place might get bored or rather die without water. And what you need to do is here. Set the plants on your semicircle table. In the center, put some kind of elevation, and on top, put container of water. Ideally, the container should be lower one, and basing on some kind of, it would be better, of course. And then we take about this cord and cut along enough pieces. How many pots we have? That's how many pieces. We dip one end of the cord in the water and put the opposite ends in the soil. So they stay there and don't fall out. Now your plants will suck water through the shoelaces. How is it possible? Is there some kind of law of physics about surface tension? It must attract the water to the shoelace and some kind of force moves water to the plant. Anyway, I don't even know how it works but in reality it works. Yeah, it wasn't a bad cream and everything comes to an end sometimes. But don't rush to throw it away. Just take a pair of scissors, cut it in half. You'd be surprised how much cream is left and goes to the trash. The plastic tube is to blame because it does not retain its shape after it's being squeezed, unlike the aluminium tube, probably the producer make them on the way on the purpose. We take the part of the cream, use it and then bend the part with a neckline like this. The tube is neatly and beautifully closed and we can easily open it again when we need it. That's cool! By binding the tip of its tape, you can put the tape, you can draw the arrow in the direction of the wind of a tape. So next time you know which direction to lock up on the tip of a tape. This will speed up the search by half. If you bought this huge jar cans, you're very lucky and not much with the content but can it sells because you can make very useful product. To begin with, with the help of measuring tape like this, we draw a semicircle around the jar and make a marking with a step for 5 cm. Then using scissors make cuts in the pieces 6 or 8 cm. Now you have to bend each at the angle of 45 cm and degrees. So you end up with a flower like this. Then we put two layers of foil on top and press it down with your hands creating a halo. The edges neatly wrap with a screwdriver, make few holes in the bottom. Now put the usual hair coil inside and almost forgot at the bottom you also have to make few holes around the perimeter. Almost done! We add a square and any netting that you can put on top. We have a very cool mini grill and now we're going to test and how it works. Fire up. 
and wait for the coals to heat up and start to smolder. We can put those sausages. And the grill seems really good. It seems to do a great job, even in a decent cold. If you have an open balcony, you can even put out there and grill something. And then it's convenient to take the foil and ashes right away and throw them just away. Just don't burn the house down. Don't forget to send your tips to the special post in the description. Just send the good ones, because I spent hours and hours sorting through your trash and your jokes.